A puzzle cube like this one is a great beginner-friendly CAD project, so I'll show you how to make it in just 5 minutes in Autodesk Inventor. For the first step, go to your Home tab, select Projects, and make sure you have Default selected. That'll prevent some funky dialogues from popping up. Now make a new part, start a new sketch, make it on the top plane, and go draw a rectangle. So we need a center point rectangle, it might be in a drop-down for you. Go out from the origin, and for one of the dimensions we'll just type size equals 1 inch. This will create a named parameter called size. We'll be able to reference it later. Add an equal constraint between the top and the side. Switch to the 3D model tab and select extrude. So we can here for this distance type size and it's going to link it to that dimension. Select symmetric and there we go. That's actually all the sketching and extruding we'll be doing for this tutorial. Next, we'll use a rectangular pattern, choosing pattern solids and new bodies. So for the direction, we're going to choose one of these sides it already pre-selected this as the thing that we're patterning because it's the only thing in the whole entire part file. We want to pattern three of them around the midplane. Same for this other direction, we're going to want to pattern three of them around the midplane. Type in size here, type in size here, and enter to accept. Press space to repeat this. Now go over here and here again like we did earlier, and for the solids we can select one up here, press shift, and select the last one and we'll select all of them so we don't have to manually click each one. Direction should be upwards and we should be select patterning three again, size, distance, and symmetrical about the middle again. Perfect. So we've done all of the adding we need, now we just need to combine them into parts. Or, well, we'll split them off into parts later. We're combining them into smaller solid, into solids now. So use the combine tool and select a few at a time, press OK, press space to repeat. And you can really do this however you want. Just be careful that you don't leave like a single cube in a corner. That might be difficult to take care of. So press space to repeat, select some more, I don't know, something something like this. We want to make sure that it's not too easy. So having a couple of the same thing can throw, throw the assembler for a loop really. Now like that, that looks good. Okay, space to repeat. We can make this into an L like that. Perfect. Okay, space to repeat. And now we still have that cube in the middle that we need to take care of. So if you go to one of the sides, hover like this, and press Control A, it's going to select the thing that's behind it once you click. So I click, now it looks like we have nothing selected, but that's because I have the center one selected. Select maybe like this, something like that. Okay, and now for the final one, oop, we need to activate combine, and select these three. Perfect. So now we can see we have combined one through combined seven, and we have seven solid bodies up over here. So that means that we did it right. If we had more solid bodies than we had combined, that means that we missed at least one of the cubes over here. Now let's add some nice appearances. So select one, click the appearance tab up here, press T to skip over to the T thing, it'll show all of the smooth options. I'll say smooth ash for this one. Over here again, click T. Now I'll say dark sea green, click here, click up here, click T. Uh, let's say purple. You can you can choose whatever color suit you. So let's go like that. Red is cool. It's going to make the cube go faster. I'm pretty sure. It turns it into a Ferrari or something like that. Make one of them yellow. Now we have a couple left to do. I can't really remember what I did already. So I don't think I did ivory and I don't think I did black. So let's have um, let's have those be the last couple colors. Wow. Okay. So this looks good. Now we still need to turn it into an assembly because it's still just a part. So what we want to do first is hit save because you don't want to lose your work and you also need to split it up. So I'll throw it into inventor projects. I was already working on a puzzle cube now. Let's call this puzzle cube project or something like that. Oops, I hit that twice. So now you can also call this puzzle cube project. Keep yourself organized. I'll add the .ipt automatically. Now go to the manage tab select make components, select your first solid up here, you might need to expand that with the plus, hold shift, select the last one, that'll select all of them, and let's go over here, change this folder, yes we do want to make a new target assembly, and it's under puzzle cube project already, you might need to switch this around if you're working somewhere else. It also chose puzzle cube project .iam based on the IPT name. Perfect, let's save, next, click OK. Perfect, boom, we have the assembly. All right, future me here, make sure to save. Don't forget to save, it's Inventor, you have to save. So save and click yes to all if you need to, but save. 
if you go to the view tab, you can go to shaded with edges. It's gonna make it look nicer. So thanks for watching. If you have something that you're struggling with, leave it in the comments. I can give it a crack. Um, also make sure to subscribe if you want more tutorials like this and share it with someone if you know that they need it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around next time.